This week, three of our local teams went on the road for state championship games, and one of them came back victorious. The Stonebridge Bulldogs now undefeated throughout 2021. And as, if anybody doesn't know, that covers two football seasons. Stonebridge was down in Hampton this past Saturday, taking on the Maury Commodores. The Stonebridge Bulldogs now have the longest winning streak in Virginia at 24 games, dating back to December 14th, 2019, when they lost to the Maury Commodores. Well, they were the defending Virginia 5A state champs coming into Saturday's rematch date with Maury. Zeke Wimbush saying, mm-hmm. First quarter action, Saquon Miles moving the offense for Maury. He's got a Marion Granger McNeil. Zach Lang and Jacob Loy are pushing him out, but not until Maury is set up. First and goal at the three yard line. Next play, Peyton Jones does the business and puts it in the end zone. Maury grabs a first quarter lead at 7 0. Second quarter action, Jacob Thomas has got the Bulldogs down in that red zone. This time it's Donovan Cooper, touchdown. Stonebridge and Maury are tied at 7 apiece with 9.03 to play in the first half. Second quarter, Jacob Thomas and Sean Huntermark have a little trouble with the exchange. Tejuan Brown scoops it up, heads toward that end zone. Maury in the red zone. It came down to fourth down and about that long. Saquon Miles calls his own number, gets it in the end zone with just four seconds to play in the first half. 14-7 at the half, Maury up. Stonebridge, long drive, third quarter. Eli Mason caps that one off from two yards out. Bulldogs with a chance to tie it up. But Mickey wants to go for two and the lead. Eli Mason, direct snap again. But Bless Mack is there. Tejuan Brown and Roshan Carter helping out. And the Maury Commodores shut it down. They still lead 14-13 with 5.24 left in the third quarter. Still third. Jacob leading the Bulldogs down into that red zone again. He's going over the middle. And he's picked! Nathaniel Knox takes it out to the seven yard line. That drive rolls over into the fourth quarter. Bulldogs pinning Maury deep, but Saquon's gonna throw from his own end zone. He connects with Michael Newell out at the 28 yard line. Maury moving the chains later, same drive. Granger McNeil doing a little option look, and then he just jets out to his right. Nobody there, 25 yards, and he's in. Touchdown, Commodores. Maury up by eight with just over five minutes left in the game. But Eli Mason is moving the chains, gets the Bulldogs out close to midfield. So Jacob, he's got another idea. Let's just get it all at once. He's looking for Sean Huntermark. Wide open at the 10, he's in. And of course, the Bulldogs are gonna go for two. Jacob, direct snap, running patiently, looking. He's on the corner and he's in. That ties it up at 21, not even a minute after Maury looked like they were gonna put it away. Looks like Stonebridge is just gonna play for overtime. We're under a minute. Then Jacob comes back, gets nailed as he throws this one. Zeke Wimbush has it out across midfield. Timeout, Stonebridge. Five seconds in the game. Bulldogs are out of field goal range. Time for just one last play. Jacob rolls to his left, stops, lets one go. Zeke Wimbush in that end zone. That's it, it's lights out. A walk-off touchdown for Stonebridge for the second year in a row. They take the state title back to back and avenge that 2019 loss. It's honestly insane. I would have never thought it would happen again, but you know, we trusted our coaches. They called the perfect play call and we made it happen. Back to back, both of them on the last play yeah. of the game. Yeah. Jacob Thomas had his hand in both, but this year Zeke Wimbush, Zeke Wimbush makes the catch and gets in that end zone, Chad. And, and you can't say enough about this entire team. Uh, Eli Mason running the ball for this squad, and then Jacob Thomas to catch the pass last year, to throw it this year. Outstanding young man. That's why he's one of our finalists for the High Dev Heisman. And Coach Mickey Thompson told me his team was terrible at the beginning of the year. He told me they were terrible when they were 6-0. I asked him that at the end of this game. Oh, man, I'll tell you what, that, that's pretty damn exciting. You guys making plays like that. Bailed me out because I was feeling guilty about that being one down. But Two years in a row, last play of the game. Yes, so proud of those guys, man. They fight like hell. Congratulations to the entire Stonebridge community.